Dear friends, in this video, let us see colorimetric determination of copper. Now, here we are estimating the amount of copper present in the given copper sulphide solution using photoelectric colorimeter. Now, here we have the stock solution of copper sulphide. Now, this is NH4OH ammonium hydroxide and uh, we require 25 50 ml of standard flask. So, we require uh, many standard flasks, one to prepare the blank solution and others for the preparation of various concentration of standard solution of copper sulphate. Now, here uh, separately in a burette we filled with uh, copper sulphate and here ammonium hydroxide. Now, this is the photoelectric colorimeter in order to record the absorbance of the solution. Now, here the principle is based on absorption of light. So, how the thickness or uh, how the depending upon the concentration of the solutions mainly the colored solutions. So, colored solutions can be analyzed using this experiment. So, copper sulphate being colored and that color can become intense by adding ammonium hydroxide. This is how we can estimate. In order to keep that absorbance to 0, we need the blank solution. So, here in this blank solution, we have a 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide then distilled water. After adding 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide, distilled water is added up to the mark, then shaken well for uniform concentration. This is called the blank solution. A set of uh, copper sulphate solution is prepared at uh, 5 different standard flasks. So, here volume of copper sulphate range in one standard flask we take 2 ml, other one 4 ml, 6, 8 and 10. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 ml of copper sulphate is taken and for each standard flask we need to add 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide and the rest uh, volume water, it is uh, added water, added water to make up to the mark. So, 2 ml of copper sulphate, 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide, then rest is water to make up to the mark. Like that 4 ml of copper sulphate, 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide, rest water. Then that 6, 8, 10, then uh, uh, six addition of ML each ammonium hydroxide, then making up to the mark. Now, here first let us add just uh, 2 ml of copper sulphate solution from the uh, burette. So, after transferring 2 ml of copper sulphate, adding 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide. So, on adding ammonium hydroxide, it forms cupramonium sulphate complex. So, that is dark colored, then rest water, then it is made up to the mark by adding distilled water. Now, here we have the blank solution. So, after placing the blank solution, the photoelectric colorimeter is set to 0. So, we can read. So, it has to be set to 0 by placing So, now the instrument is set to 0 by placing blank solution. Now, in place of uh, blank solution, we can uh, keep the test uh, samples. So, here we have blank 1, then uh, followed by 2 ml copper sulphate 4, then uh, 6, 8 and 10 ml. So, here from 2 to 10 ml. So, concentration of copper ion is increasing. That is how the change in color also. Now, this is highly concentrated solution. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 ml copper sulphate plus 5 ml each ammonium hydroxide, then uh, added water to make up to the mark. Now, this blank solution is to set the instrument to 0. Now, using blank solution, the instrument already set to 0. 
meantime uh, unknown volume of copper sulfate is given in the standard flask for that also we have to add 5 ml of ammonium hydroxide then make up to the mark by adding distilled water and keep it ready. Now here the in this standard flask volume of copper sulfate is not known unknown it is called that you have to get it from the graph. Now let us take the reading for 2 ml volume of copper sulphate. So, it is taken in a cuvette then after drying the outer surface it is carefully placed. Now just uh, reading the absorbance that you have to record. So, 0 0.17 is the absorbance that you have to record in the calculation part. So, 0 0.17 is the reading absorbance for 2 ml. So, similarly we can take the reading for 4 ml and 6 and 8. Just before that we can keep the blank solution to ensure 0 reading. Now, this is the sample containing 4 ml of copper sulphate. Now, here we will get the value 0.35, the same has to be recorded here. This is the value for 6 ml of copper sulphate, this is for 8 ml copper sulphate 0.58 and here we have 10 ml of copper sulphate solution, it is 0.6. 6, 9. So, that also recorded here. Now, only the test solution is remaining. In the test solution, we do not know what is the volume of copper sulphate present that you have to determine using these values. So, in order to determine the volume of test, we can use these 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 as the reference volumes. Now, for the test sample, the absorbance we get is 0 0.53 that we can record here 0 0.53. So, volume of copper sulphate is not known. So, using this optical density and volume reference volume, we can find out what is the volume for this unknown solution and later we can calculate what is the weight of copper present in the test solution. So, in calculation part, so stock solution contains 8 grams of copper sulphate that is 1 liter. So, by taking molecular mass and mass of copper in that 63.54, 8 grams of copper sulphate contain and we have 2.037 gram of copper present in 1000 cm cube of stock solution. Therefore, 1 cm cube contains 2.037 milligrams of copper. So, copper present in uh, unknown test solution C m cube into this one. Now, this A C m cube we have to determine. How to determine? By plotting the graph. So, here we have absorbance and reference volume. So, absorbance and volume of copper sulphate, you will get a straight line passing through origin. Then uh, we have for uh, test sample 0.53 absorbance that we can uh, using this graph as a result we can get what is. So, absorbance is this much 0 0.53 then uh, from this we can get what is the volume of copper sulphate present in that test solution. Once we know this volume that is A that can be multiplied with uh, copper present in 1 cm cube 2.037. So, 2.037 milligram into A that gives the um, the mass of copper sulphate present in that unknown sample of copper sulphate. That same thing we can report in the form of result, the weight of copper present in the given test solution in milligrams. Thank you.